Okay guys, so in the last tutorial you learned how to install ROS on your machine and in this tutorial we are going to continue the journey and learn how to set up a project in ROS. So the first thing that, thing that we want to do is to create a workspace which is where we are going to build and store our ROS project. To create a workspace and initiate it we are going to create a new folder with the name of our workspace and inside that folder we are going to create another folder called source. So to do this in one command, you can type it like this. mkdir-p tutorials slash src in like source. And you can call your workspace anything you want. I will call mine tutorials just to be able to find it easily. So now we have created a folder for our workspace, but we haven't actually initialized our workspace. And to do this, we go inside the folder, the first, like what I call tutorials. So this is the workspace and inside that folder, I have my source folder. And what I do here is that I type a command called catkin underscore make. And what this command does is that it will try to build your project and packages inside your source folder. For now, our project doesn't contain anything in the source folder. So, and it doesn't even have the tools to build it yet. So what this command will do is that it will create two new folders inside our workspace folder. And they will be called devil and build. And they will contain those tools. So if I run this command, as you can see now, it's building the project and creating these folders that I told you about. And if I now run the command ls and look inside the folder, I can see that it has created the folder build, devil, and we have our folder source there. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to create something called a package inside our source folders. So we navigate inside the source folder and we can also see here before we begin that we have created a that the catkin underscore build command, the catkin underscore make command made a file called cmake lists. So back to the packages. So what is a package? Well, every ROS project contains at least one package and as it is one of the smallest build stone in a ROS project. So you can imagine a ROS project like a molecule and every single atom in that molecule is a ROS package. And a ROS package can contain uh, configuration files, libraries, datasets, and maybe the most important one, which is a ROS runtime process, which we call a node. We will get more into nodes in later tutorials, but for now we are going to focus on creating a package. So before we begin, make sure that you are standing inside your source folder. What we are going to do now is that we want to run a command called catkin underscore create underscore package, which looks like this. Catkin underscore create underscore package. So package here is PKG. And after this, you made a space and then you type the name of your package. So I will call mine tutorial two like this. You can call yours whatever you want. And if you had any dependencies now and you rely on any other dependencies which like ROS CPP or ROS PI, you can type those afterwards like a space and then you type your dependencies. But we do not have any dependencies right now so we won't type any. So you run this command and what this does is that it creates some files for you. And what we can do now is that we can navigate inside our package. So if we list the files inside our source folder now, we see that we have a new folder containing, which is named now tutorial2. So I go inside that tutorial2 folder and look inside that folder. You can see that I have a cmakelists.txt and a package.xml file. And for those of you who are not familiar with C++, CMakeList contains directives and instructions describing the source files and targets in our package. 
and I think it will make more sense to you later on, so we, I won't describe it so much. But the other file, package.xml, it contains some metadata about our package, so let's open it up. So I will open mine in Vim. So Vim package.xml. So as you can see here, when we open the file, we find a lot of information describing our package, like what is the name of our package, what is the version of our package, and a short description of the package. We can also see here who is the maintainer of the package. So here we can type our email address and our name. And here you can also find a XML tag called license. And here you can type either BSD, MIT, uh, or the other ones. You can find some examples here, which is the most common ones. And you can choose your license and type it here. And at the bottom of this um, file, we can see that we have a dependency, a build tool dependency here, which is catkin. And we will add our dependencies here later on. So this is actually everything we are going to go through this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to look more into notes, but I think that will be a quite long tutorial. So I try to divide this tutorial in a smaller one. So the next tutorial won't be as long. So hopefully this one is quite short and see you in the other one.